Hi guys, since today is almost September 1st, I thought we would go through and just kind of show you where I'm at with all of my journals. So I've already done the setup with the Archer and Olive, the doodle journal that I do all of my like highlights and bullet journaling in. So we've already done that. We did a page together. Um, I've got my Coco Daisy here and I've got my um, meal planner. So I thought I would do the meal planner first and just kind of go through and show you where we're at on the September meal planning and how I'm setting it up and what I'm doing with it. And then if you have any, you know, any ideas, I would love for you to share them with me. Or if I can give you any ideas, like if you take anything away from this video and you like it, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. That would be totally awesome. But this is an Archer and Olive journal. It is one of the ones that came in one of the subscription boxes. I can't remember if it was last month or the month before. I don't keep track of, of what comes in what um, subscription box, but it is an Archer and Olive. It is a dot grid. Let me flip it open. It's just plain white paper on the inside dot grid. Everything is nice and blank on the inside, so super easy to fill out. When you open it up, it's got this pretty gilding on the side. And that being said, this is not the journal we are going to continue with, but that is for a whole nother video. For right now, for the month of September, it is in this journal. This is actually the journal that I want to do the washi challenges in, and I'll tell you about it really quick, give you a little sneak peek, because if you want to follow along with the washi journal, with the washi challenges, which is just a fun thing just to kind of throw out there for you and me and everybody else, who has 500,000 rolls of washi that we don't get to use very often. This is just a fun way to pull out the old washi, fall in love with it all over again, use it, put it someplace pretty. And even if you do it properly, you can even categorize your washi this way. So I'm going to start a washi challenge this month in the month of September. And here's a little sneak peek at the very first challenge. There it is. That's all you get to see. <laughs> but if you want to do the washi challenge with me, um, follow me over on Instagram at Coco and Fluff. And I'll leave that stuff linked down below so that you can easily find me. But those that washi challenge will start in September. It's just a fun way to kind of share our little washi ideas. So anyway, but that's what this book is going to be. This book is going to be the challenges. But for right now, for the month of September, until I get my order in for something new that I'm getting, which I will share the whole setup with you when I get it, we are doing the meal planning in this book because it's gigantic and I've got plenty of space. Okay, so here is the September meal plan. All laid out. Um, this is the washi and the stickers that came with this subscription from Archer and Olive because I get the, I think it's quarterly. So you get four boxes a year and it's it's a little bit pricey, but since it's only four times a year, I, I'm totally okay with it. And I love their journals. They're absolutely gorgeous. So this is one of the um, ideas that I had for doing the meal planning and trying to. So if you're like me and you're just sick and tired of eating the same crap, every single week because nobody has any ideas of what they want for dinner. This is for you. It's also for you if you're trying to do healthy eating. It's for you if you're trying to um, meal plan on a budget. This is for you if you've got picky kids and you're trying to figure out what to feed them. Um, this is a great way for you to not only be creative with your journaling and have have just another yet another fun page to do every month and a place to sit down and figure out the meals, figure out, you know, make a pretty calendar, that kind of stuff. This is definitely for you. And so this is my meal plan. So you can kind of see where we're, where we're laid out and I'll show you how I did it. So this is for September. The month is all laid out. I've got like a lot of extra boxes in here. Um, cause when I was laying it out, I was just laying it out as like a basic grid. And then once I got it down, I realized ah, I have too many boxes all over the place, but that's okay because I have stickers and stickers are, and washi are my favorite things to decorate monthly layouts with. Washi on the bottom, washi on the top. Again, this is Archer and Olive. These green, the one at the top is because this was an extra set of an extra row. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then the numbers and the date covers are from Hubman and Chub Girl. This was their September um, monthly subscription. So I've got the date covers. I've got the dates on here. And then there's an extra row over here, which you can put notes if you wanted to, or, you know, just just make your calendar without as many rows as this goofball did. So anyway, these here are where I mark out work days because obviously I'm not meal planning for those days. I have a whole separate thing where I decide what I'm going to eat for the week as far as work stuff is concerned because I have a very short amount of time. Meal prep for it. It's pretty easy. It's mostly sandwiches. I'm, I'm not crazy when it comes to work stuff. Um, I have been thinking about trying factor though. Um, just for work days because it's just one thing you stick it in the microwave eat it and it's like an actual meal instead of just eating a sandwich but that's a whole nother thing off topic so um if you've got like date nights you can put date nights in here so that you don't have to worry about trying to figure out what you're going to eat the other thing that i have for you if you're interested in any of these recipes that are on here except for maybe two because this one is my son's recipe and so he does not have it written down anywhere for me to share it with you um so this one I don't have one for, and I believe, you know, 
burgers. I'm not going to have that on there, but I think everything else is on there. And I will leave that Pinterest board. It says September meal planning, and I will leave it linked down below this video if any of these recipes look interesting to you. So for the first week in September, we're going to start off with date night because it's a Friday and we only have every other Friday off together. So every other Friday is our date night. Then we're going to try this. Oh, this looks so good. There's such a video on here. So I'll tell you two places that I get all of my meal planning ideas from. One is obviously Pinterest. I love Pinterest. It's super easy to create a board and put things in it. But also, if you don't know, you can create favorites lists on Instagram. And there are some food accounts on Instagram that are absolutely fabulous. And they do these videos where they're showing you how they make it. And it's a whole thing. And it's a really, really fun way also to pick out good meal ideas. I don't have any of my Instagram meals on here, but I have made some of the recipes I found on Instagram and they are good. It is a good place to find recipes. So crock pot, I don't know how to say this, birara tacos. I'm probably totally wrong with how I just said that, but this is made with, um, I actually, let me show you this really quick. So on the second page, I have this very plain, very simple, very plain in pencil so that I can re erase anything in here. So if something changes, I can take off the grocery list stuff that I don't need. So this is for an entire week's worth of dinners here. But this, these tacos are using beef chuck pot roast, which if you ever had beef chuck pot roast, it's really, really good. So that's the meat that you're using for these tacos. It's done in a crock pot. It's delicious. That is linked down below on that Pinterest board. So you can find that. And it's actually a video that shows you how to do it. Then we've got Italian beef stew, also fantastic. The most delicious beef stew you will ever eat, ever, ever eat. It's made with Cabernet Sauvignon. It is delicious. It is very, 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 I add a few more vegetables to it than what the recipe asks for, but you do, you do you, you do you, but that's linked. Honey, garlic, chicken, and rice. Sounds fantastic. Have never made this one yet. The other th cool thing about this is if there's something you like, in your menu planning when you're trying out new things and you want to you know you want to expand your horizons and you like it you can just highlight it and then when you make your october or your you know when you go back and continue making all your meal planning recipes and stuff in here you can just repeat the ones that you really like and you want to try again maybe there's something in september you like that you want to try again in december for like a family meal or something you can totally like oh i liked that and then you can go ahead and use it again so i've never tried that yet but the recipe is down below um it's a weird thing that we do on Tuesdays. Tuesdays are usually burger nights because that's our family game night. So we do something quick, but I do some different things with the burgers. So sometimes it'll be like, this one is going to be maple bacon, um, cheeseburgers with smashed potatoes. Uh, not at all linked. <laughs> that's just what it is. Um, this one might be sliders. I don't know. This one might be sloppy Joe. It just depends. But usually this is a quick burger night for us on Tuesday nights. Um, and then I'm going to do a homemade pizza that's also linked below and it includes the dough, the sauce, the whole nine yards. It sounds delicious. Never had it before, but we're going to try that. Then I go back to work. So we're not doing really anything here. And then this sweet caramelized pork with rice. Oh, sounds so good. So now we're getting into like some Asian food here. There's Korean pork chops, this char zoo and sticky rice. Those are all like um, Asian dinners and they are absolutely fantastic. Then we got date night again, homemade chicken noodle soup. This is linked below um, in that Pinterest, but this is, um, I do a variation of it. I just don't have a recipe for it because it came out of the Betty Crocker cookbook. And it, you, it like is from scratch, scratch. Like you're making the stock, you're making everything from scratch. So I did link one, but it is not the one that I use. The one that I use is straight out of the Betty Crocker cookbook. So if you have a Betty Crocker book cookbook, that is the chicken noodle soup that I make. Classic pot roast linked. Chicken Alfredo with ziti noodles linked. Um, and this is the um, Olive Garden recipe for this. This is my son's recipe and it's kind of like an Asian, almost like a Japanese steakhouse with the fried rice. Korean pork chops with fried rice because they'll be extra because my daughter's making the fried rice and she doesn't know how to make normal portions of anything. So there will be leftovers. And then the char zoo and sticky rice, another burger night. And then we have family from California coming to visit this weekend. So I have no idea what's going on there. So there is the recipes. There is the whole way that I do the meal planning for the month. And this changes. This very, <laughs> it's very changes a lot. Some days we decide, oh, let's go to the movies tonight and we don't end up making that stuff. And then this page, like I said, is very simple. I just use some Coco Daisy Skinny Washi to make the rows. I've got this laid out for me. This works for me because of my work schedule. So all these green are when I'm working. So we go grocery shopping, kind of like they'll go grocery shopping tomorrow morning for this, right? Then we go back to work. 
he'll go grocery shopping again right here for work day. And then he'll go grocery shopping this day for just a couple of days and the work days. So it's kind of weird the way that we do it. So the way I have this laid out is grocery list and then that. So this is only the 11th and the 12th, not so this is just what I need for the recipes for the 11th and the 12th. And this is just the recipes. And then the last two is like the kitchen extras. So it's like the staples, the stuff that you like, white rice, potato, stuff like that. Things that you keep on hand will go here as they, you know, when you're going through the kitchen, you're like, oh man, we just ran out of kosher salt. And then you forget to write it down. Then you go grocery shopping and then you go home and you're like, oh man, I forgot to get the kosher salt. This is where that goes. And then household stuff is like shower, bathroom stuff, um, laundry, detergent, cleaning stuff, things like that. So that's what this is for. And then um, when he goes grocery shopping, because my husband does all the grocery shopping because he's amazing and absolutely fantastic. Um, I just give him the list off of here and then I check it off. And then he calls me 500 times and say, they don't have this. What else do you want? They don't have this. What else do you want? It'd probably be easier if we just went together. But whenever I say, I'm going to come with you too, he rolls his eyes because then he knows the grocery bill is about to get much, much bigger. So he would much rather go without me. Anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to share with you how September's meal planning is looking. If any of these recipes look good to you, let me know down below. And let me know down below also if you go and check out the Pinterest board and you do any of these and how they come out for you and if you like them. So anyway, that is that. Now we're going to move on to my, oh, my Coco Daisy. Oh, I love how this month came out. So at first, when I opened the Coco Daisy box for the month of September, I can tell you that I was disappointed. I was kind of sad because to me, I live in the Northwest and September is, September 23rd, fall is fall. That's when autumn begins. And so to me, it's already cool here. You see, it's like 58 degrees outside right now. And the high temperature during the day is like in the 70s. Um, we're lucky. Maybe we might hit the 80s, low 80s, but we're down in the 50s, low 50s at night. It's fall. It's fall to me. And I want fall pretties. I want the fall colors, I want the pumpkins, I want the leaves, I want the whole nine yards. And what we got was cameras and, um, yeah, you know, you know, you saw the unboxing. That's what we got is this right here. And this is how my, my um, cover is set up. So I use, I have probably, I'll tell you, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine covers. All different colors, all some of them have patterns, some of them are colored and what and I change them out depending on what's going on on the inside. So this month we've got the the navy blue color color. I get these on Amazon. Um yeah, they're cheap. They're not expensive at all. So lots of pockets. I've got my extra stickers in here of stuff that I'm gonna use, but you can tell here it's very like almost social media, like with the film reels and all that stuff. So when I saw it, I was like, that is not fall. It came with an Ollie clip this month. So there's the Ollie clip. Then I use these little things in the back of where I put little extras. So I've got them decorated for the month. A little habit tracker in there. And then on this side, I, this has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with what's underneath, but there's stickers on the outside, so I can't really change it. So what I do is I just stick like a solid pattern behind it. I just couldn't help it because they're just so stinking cute. Some little things just has my heart, so. And there's stickers and they stick and I stick them. And then there's a camera sticker on here, but because this is plastic, these come off. So when I'm done with it for this month, I'll pull it off, stick it on a sticker sticker paper, that reusable sticker paper, and stick it in the drawer and then I can reuse it again. This is from last year. So you can see a theme here. This and this came from last year's box at the same time. So I guess I shouldn't have been surprised that it wasn't gonna be fall because again, this is last year. Um, the theme is from last year. I can tell you what though, this little washi cutter right here, first time they've added this type of a washi cutter. I think last month they had something kind of fun too as a washi cutter. This is the best dang washi cutter I've ever had. This is better than any other washi cutter. It cuts smooth, you know, it it's and it seemed kind of thick and I thought this isn't gonna work and then I used it and I'm like, this thing works amazing. This is the best washi cutter ever. I hope they come out with one in the fall so that I can have one in my planner for next month because I saw the release video for next month stuff. I just watched it yesterday. It comes out on the 28th if you're interested. It's on uh, their Coco Daisy YouTube channel and I watched to see what the theme was. I wanna make sure it was what I wanted it to be and it is. So I'm hoping that they have, I don't remember seeing it though in the reveal, but I didn't watch every single box. So maybe, maybe it's in there. Um, and then there's little pockets in here. So this is the vellum that came in the kit. And then these are the papers. And then 
you know, I got to have my Simon in here. That's a quote card from way, way back when. I just liked it. Some little sticky notes, just some fun things. Another Simon in here, another Simon, and then some other like fun things, and then the notepad. So this one's an Echo Park. If you're looking for these, go on Amazon and look for Echo Park Traveler's Notebook covers, and you will see a whole bunch of them in all different colors. I have a red one for, for um, holiday time. Got all kinds of them. Anyway. So the book. So anyway, like I said, I was a little bit disappointed at first when I opened it, but then when I started laying it down, oh my God, you guys, I think this is like one of my favorite setups ever. I don't know why, but I absolutely, absolutely love it. So you can see here, we're getting chunky. This is going to be the last, I think we can probably fit October. I imagine we can probably get October in here, but we are like at the, look at this, we're at the very end. So I think I can probably stuff October in here, but this guy's getting super chunky. So anyway, let me just flip to this month where we're starting this month. Here we go. Oh my God. Would you just look at how amazing this looks? Once you lay it down and you put it on the white background paper, it just starts popping off the paper and just looks amazing. So uh, I'm just really excited about it. So at first, very disappointed and kind of sad, but then once I started using it, oh my gosh, I just got so excited. So here it's just kind of like the opening pages where I put my goals in here and then like have like kind of like a little buffer in between when we start uh, my little thing came off when we start actually using I'll fix it later um, the September stuff but there's a little tip in here which I just put it on the back of the sticker paper that they give you and then yeah I'm just gonna flip through it and show you so September 23 and then you've got your first page where I put the pocket and this is where I keep the smaller stuff so there's a couple of die cuts in here and then this smaller page and then it's set up this way this got crooked I'll fix it later though and then when you flip it to the next one, you've got your tip in with the month on it. And then this starts, you pull that out and start September. So you got your September calendar, you've got like all the little extras in here and then starts the weeks. So this starts the first week. So I have it laid out horizontal with Monday through Saturday. Sunday I was on this side and then this is kind of like a little note section and I got the little habit tracker in here because it's fun. And then in between, I do like a note section, write it down, noted, you know, things like where I need to take notes or if I want to put down memory keeping or anything like that. And then this week I did a little bit different. It's still horizontal, but I kind of like moved things around. And these were, they look kind of messy, but that's the way they are. And these were on the rub on pages. So I wanted to use those. And then you've got a little section here. And then in the center of this one, how pretty is this right here? Oh, it's so pretty. I just love this so much. And then this is like a little finances section and work section. It just give me some ideas of where I'm at in the middle of the month. And then move on to the next week. How pretty these are. A lot of this is rub-ons. So the one of the nice things about if you subscribe to their journaling subscription, which is pretty new, you get a lot of rub-ons. And when you're trying to do a book like this and not get super fat, um, I would say it's, it's pretty good um, for this kind of stuff because I probably would not be able to get as far as I have in this one if I didn't use a lot of rub-ons in here, and I do. So, and then this is the washi tape, which is fantastic. This is the, the little journaling card that came with it. Another little area to write stuff down. And then we're into another, this is kind of like the middle section, I guess, where I put like a little pocket where I can add stuff. So if I have my big sticker sheets and I want to put them in here, I can, or this is the four by six. I just kind of stuffed it in there because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. And then the area to write down. And then we're into this week. And a little project section, and then another. I, just, I love making these, and this is a great place to do like memory keeping. And then that's the end, and then this will start October. So we will start off with the big pages just like before for October when we get to that part. So I just wanted to share this with you because, like a lot of people, I did hear a lot of people grumbling about how um, they weren't happy with this month's. Um, artwork you know people like me just being grumpy about it and wanting the fall stuff um just give it a shot just give it a try lay it down uh take a good look at it once you start using it you are just going to be like oh my gosh this is so pretty the colors are pretty fall there's a lot of oranges in here that pop off the page there's a lot of greens in here so you you'll you'll be surprised you'll be surprised at how much you actually really really like how it looks once you lay it down 
So anyway, if you guys want to see me set up October, I would love to hear it down below. Um, I may not be able to do the whole thing because that would be like a five billion hour um, video, but I might be able to like lay down like half of it and then do the other half with you if that's something that you would like to see. Now you kind of see where my thought process is when I start laying stuff down and where I decide to put things and why. Because uh, I actually do have like reasons why I have everything where I have it, but I can't really remember them after I've already laid it down what my idea was. I just kind of do my thing. Anyway, so I hope you guys like this video. If you do, like I said, comment down below, check out that Pinterest post, leave me some comments about like recipe ideas. If you guys have some uh, meal planning ideas of your own that you like, and pretty soon I will be back to share with you my new on the go setup that I'm going to be taking with me uh, that will encompass a lot of this in one planner. So since I've only got one more month left in this guy, this guy, the meal planner, and a few other things are all getting combined into a gorgeous, gorgeous soft leather cover. I'm very excited about it. Very, very excited about it. I can't wait for it to come so that I can play with it and I will share it with you when it gets here. Anyway, thanks guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on the next one. Bye.